Hello boys and girls, Boosterin out here and welcome back to Arm Races. So today we're taking a look at the Russian tier 2 modern tank, the T62. Another tank review guys for you today. So let's first take a look at the model of this tank. It looks simply incredible like all the tanks in this game. I absolutely love it. There we can see the model up close all the details there on the tank so let's now take a look at the vehicle stats and I want to compare it to the AMX 30B because it's the other tier 2 modern tank in this game so the T62 has a little bit more hit points than the AMX 30B it has uh, 1150 hit points uh, and I uh, you know it's with 50 hit points more than the MX 30B uh, it deals slightly less damage per shot however uh, you can see uh, it deals 275 damage versus the uh, 280 damage of the MX 30B it's a slight difference but it can make uh, difference in the combat uh, the rate of fire is the same, 10 rounds uh, per minute, and the vehicle speed is slightly less than the MX 30B, it's slightly slower tank. The reverse speed, however, is slightly more than the MX 30B, and this is interesting. The third turn time is faster than the MX 30B. So, what can we say about the T62 compared to the MX 30B? Which tank is better? I personally like the T62 more. Uh, because of the lower profile of the vehicle and uh, the bigger gun depression. The MX-30B, uh, as you saw uh, uh, at my uh, quick game with the MX-30B, uh, the capuller on the top uh, is easily visible for, uh, to your enemies and your higher profile makes it uh, easier for your enemies to hit you. Uh, so, and I want to mention those stats uh, are not the fully upgraded vehicles. Uh, uh, you you told me this, and uh, I, I made a mistake uh, the last video. I told you that these are the fully upgraded. No, they aren't. Uh, so yeah, uh, this has been changed now. The not the fully upgraded stats are displayed. So, uh, let's now uh, take a few games in this tank and see how it performs in those games. So, this tank uh, was my favorite tank and it still is from the modern tanks. I like it more than the Chieftain uh, because of its lower profile. The Chieftain is simply a huge tank, but uh, the Chieftain has... Uh, uh, bigger damage per shot which gives it uh, the opportunity to deal more damage per battle but really uh, you can't avoid fire as easily as in the T62 so this time we are heading below the hill I won't go up the hill I usually go up the hill, but this time I'll go in this position below the hill because I feel like this position is very strong. There are multiple gaps uh, in the ground where you can go hull down and show your turret only to your enemies. So I feel like this position here is pretty valuable and many enemies prefer to go at the valley as you can see and from this position you can engage them easily. We can see a chieftain right there. Take a shot at his flank. He manages to hit me as well. Shaving off 500 of my hit points. With his huge damage per shot. I prefer to dodge the fire from the chieftain. Because of his simply amazing damage. I don't want to take any more shots from him guys. I managed to sneak a shot in his turret and now he's one shot away from death. 
and I managed to take him out. Okay, so now I'll move up to engage the enemies which I can see on the minimap, which are located right there. Okay. I can see them here, but I don't have quite enough gun depression. One of them is dead. And the other one, come on. Oh, he's dead as well. Now there is an enemy on the hill above us. Oh, he'll try to fire, but he missed. And it's very hard to do what this tank tried to do. Oops, I accidentally fired there. I didn't want to fire, but it's anyways. Now, let's go up and get those enemies. Oh, one of them wants to die. <laughs> very brave. Enemy right there. Oh, actually not very brave. I thought he will engage us, but when he saw that we are two, he was like, nope, I'm not going one versus two. Oh, I managed to hit him actually. Oh, if I hit him in the rear, I would have killed him, but I shot him in the flank. It's anyways, though. Oh, the enemy chieftain, he manages to hit me. Now I can go and hunt him down. Oh, he prefers to escape. Oh, that was a miss, unfortunately. But I got him anyways. So, uh, you could see there down, the, the position below the hill is not that bad. It's actually a pretty nice position. 3000 damage and 2 kills. Uh, pretty average game, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, shout out to my team. Uh, they did very good. So, let's get on to the next game. And... Uh, the main advantage of this tank, as I told you, is the low profile. When I play against uh, the T-62, when I have its flank, I often miss. Uh, I My shot goes below the tank, through the tracks, and uh, I, I do no damage. Uh, but uh, really, uh, you, you can't sit still and hope uh, for... Uh, the enemies to miss. You can, uh, you must use the mobility and the speed of this tank. You must go backwards and forwards in order uh, your enemies to miss you. So same map, but this time I spawn on the hill, so I won't go down. I'll fight here. And on the hill, there is a pretty nice position as well. As you can see right here, where I'm standing, you are protected from this uh, terrain feature. And you can show, take a shot at your enemies and roll back into cover again. But when, they're en when the enemies are below you, like this chieftain is, I can do this and he misses. Use your speed again. Go backwards and forwards quickly and hope for uh, that your enemies miss you. See, I poked three times and he didn't hit me even once. Look at this. He hits me right uh, the last time I poke, but I poked <laughs> four or five times there and I simply destroyed this. Uh, chieftain and he manages to hit me only once so that's how you should play in the T62 I'm trading shots here with this enemy but he doesn't want to trade anymore and he goes back oh I miss him there And he does. 
he dies. Oh, that sounded really strange. Okay, three enemy tanks across the map. Don't know why I fired there. Misclick. And now I'll engage them. And I'll try to help my teammates which are fighting there. Oh, rear shot at the chieftain for 600 damage there. And another one, and he dies. Whoa, that was pretty nice. Two rear shots at that chieftain. His day was screwed by me. He was like, hey, I'm gonna kill this enemy tank. And I was like, nope. <laughs> managed, to, managed to save my teammate there. And here we have an AFK. T uh, T62. And we managed to take the enemies out and we win the game. Let's see how it did in this one. 3392 damage, 3 kills. That was better, but I don't know. Still pretty average game, uh, in my opinion. So let's take another game. And uh, you saw there uh, what I did versus the Chieftain on the hill. This is how I uh, like to play. Oh, one versus one. This can be tricky. If he has the the consumables and he's fully upgraded, I might lose this one. We'll see though. If I play good, I might, I might win this. So anyways, you saw there my strategy. I was uh, poking, t uh, taking a shot at the enemy and then quickly uh, rolling back into cover uh, and uh, when I was poking I was exposing very uh, little part of my tank so the enemy couldn't hit me oh that's bad it's actually good he hasn't got the consumables as we can see here but his alpha damage is still uh, bigger than mine so I had to be aware of what I do oh bad play by me rear shot gotta love them He's using his gun depression there. And I managed to take him out and I bounce his last shot. That was pretty good strategy. Without the rear shots, I wouldn't be able to take him out. But uh, yeah, pretty nice engagement there. As you can see, I use the, mo the mobility of the T62 in order to go behind that chieftain. And in those sorts of one-on-one -on -one engagements, you really, when you really can't win, because, uh, you know, I missed my first shot and he would have win, and uh, I went behind him. That was my strategy there, and uh, I used the mobility of my tank, hoping, hoping that he will miss me. And it worked. Sometimes it won't work when you're playing against more experienced enemies but this time it worked so that's pretty nice this time we are 4 versus 5 this is not good I have to play good in this one in order to even up the chances of my team okay so I know exactly where I'm, I want to go in this position here. If you have watched my AMX 30B game, you know where I'm going. I'll poke uh, over the ridge line here. And you can have simply monster games doing this.
Remember, go back and forth in order to make your enemies miss. This one didn't miss though, but I got him. And the fact I showed only my turret saved a lot of my hit points. I missed there, he didn't miss. Okay. So now, I'll change the position. Actually not. Yes, I'll change the position. Trying to engage this enemy. Oh, quite not quite enough gun depression there. And I'm getting fired from the flank. It's only a T55 though and I can handle him. He dies. And now I can help my teammate over there. There we go. Sweet rear shot on the T62. And only one enemy remains. I think I played well in this one. We managed to win even though they were more. Although you can uh, you could argue that one of their teammates was AFK. So it was even fight. Two thousand six hundred damage, three kills, not that bad. I could have uh, done better, but as you can see here, my teammates were pretty good as well, and we managed to win this fight. So this will be for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, really, the strength of this tank are the mobility, the low profile, and the quite good gun depression as well as uh, the rate of fire advantage over the Chieftain. So, uh, my opinion about this tank is currently my favorite modern tank. Although the Chieftain has bigger alpha damage, I still like this tank more than the Chieftain. So, yep. I hope you enjoyed, guys, and I will see you on the battlefield.